Mad Max, he gets him a nap before game. <laughs> he had to. That's what he told me. Well, he <laughs> well, Houston is one of only two teams to have a winning record against the Bulls since Chicago's championship reign began back in 1990. We had success, actually, against the Bulls in the regular season because he tried to fight Michael Jordan every time. And every game, he tried to fight Michael. And Michael, you know, as tough mind that he is, it, it really didn't get under him. So one day, after every fight, he would bring his son in afterwards to get his autograph. So Michael says, something's wrong with this guy, Kevin. He fights me every day, and then right after, he brings his son in, wearing an all J Air Jordan apparel. <laughs> and he's just bringing him in the autograph like he's not right. But Maxwell would have guarded Jordan beyond belief. Jordan trying to post up, does. Tries to go baseline, dribbles it off of his foot, out of bounds, and it belong to the Rockets. The Jordan stuffer. That's right. Oh, yeah. And then Vernon Maxwell was the craziest wow. dude you ever want to see on the court. Did I hear and that so right? And so he was in Michael Jordan. So Vernon Maxwell was a guy that was exquisite at being able to get up in Jordan's face, talk with him, run with him, and at least give him some problems. You don't get enough props, but he's a two-time champion. But mentally, I get my mind all twisted around and I had to put my hands on this motherfucker, and that's what I used to do.